Hi everyone, welcome. Today I'll be showing you how I created these Suicide Squad Harley Quinn nails. Instead of acrylic, today I'm going to be testing out this Builder in a Bottle by Savaland. And I've actually never attempted gel nails like this, so this is a first. We'll see how it goes. I've used builder gel before out of a tub, and that can get so messy if you're not experienced. So this is my first time trying the builder in a bottle. Also, if you like this video, if you like nail content, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, and I would really appreciate your help. And thank you so much for the support. I'm doing a thin layer first and curing. And now I'm doing the same thing, painting on a thin layer. And now I'm going to take some more gel and float a bead down the center. Let it self-level for a second and then flash cure. You don't want to wait too long to cure since it'll most likely flood your cuticles if you let it sit for too long. Um, so yeah, I'm just flash curing for about 10 to 15 seconds. I'm going to wipe our tacky layer off and get to filing. I didn't have any issues with it not curing all the way, and I love the color. With more practice and getting used to, I think this could be a great product for anyone doing their own nails. And once we're all filed and shaped, I'm going to pick out some of our jelly colors. I'm going to apply a base coat to all the nails to help smooth out the surface. And with our colors without rhyme or reason, I'm just painting them all on, trying to get a sort of messy feel. Here I'm just using a super cheap nail art brush. You can get these in pretty much any nail kit ever. <laughs> It really doesn't matter. And I'm going to be using these teeny tiny nail art brushes I got from Amazon for only $5.99. Normally, I would be using Beatles nail art brushes, but those just weren't precise enough, so I got these. I'll link them down below if you're interested. And I call these Suicide Squad nails, but really, they're just Harley Quinn nails. <laughs> I love Margot Robbie in the Suicide Squad movies. I think she is absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. She's so stunning. The new movie is definitely the redemption we needed from the first. Um, let me know if you've seen it and what you thought. I personally really enjoyed it. I thought it was hilarious. And I'm doing the Harley from the first movie only because I really couldn't find a good reference photo from the newer ones, so that was a little bit of a bummer, but it's fine. Constantly looking at a reference photo, trying to get it as close as I can. I have attempted a realistic nail art painting once before, and let's just say it did not go well. I've definitely improved in my character paintings a lot, and I've developed techniques for shading and whatnot, so I wanted to give this a second go and sort of apply what I've learned. I was definitely really nervous for this one. I just didn't know if it would come out good and how I'd feel about it. I'm my biggest critic. I've sort of gotten down the whole character thing, but those are all like cartoony or animated. Whereas with realism, the slightest of flaws can just make the whole thing look off. I guess other things I've done that may be considered more realistic is maybe Venom or Pennywise, like those aren't really cartoons per se, but those being unrealistic creatures or characters of sorts means the level of precision really doesn't need to be as high. With my other character work, you'll see in the beginning stages it's super messy, but as I work on it, it kind of comes together through a means of a ton of layers and constantly adjusting and covering up and adding more. That technique so far has not let me down when it comes to my character work or more simpler paintings in that regard, but that technique has let me down when it comes to attempting realism. Doing it that way can make some of the features bulk up really quickly and it can just be really difficult to get those fine details. I've definitely learned from my mistakes and so I'm giving it another shot. I have some optimism here. And I truly cannot express to you how difficult this really was. It took me so many hours. Most likely over time and with more practice, it wouldn't take as long to do these type of paintings. But I just wanted to say, don't feel bad about your work if it took you hours. I feel there's a weird metric where like the faster you are, the better. Or even if your work's amazing, you took too long, so that's an issue. If you have the time to do it and you love what you do, Maybe it's a hobby for you. It really doesn't matter if it took you all day. What matters is that you spent time doing what you love and you have something you're extremely proud of after. 
And I do understand wanting to be quick in the case of having clients because you can't take forever on a client. At that point, your time is money and I completely understand that. But yeah, just in case if anyone was wondering, this took me like all day. <laughs> the best advice I can give is to not compare yourself to others. Work at your own pace and develop your skills and with practice you will see improvement. I wasn't too overly precise on this nail since I really didn't need to be. Working in layers and curing as I go, it starts to come together. adding a top coat to that nail. And onto the rest, I'm going to be doing this Harley skull design from the movie posters. This one was super simple and easy. For our thumb, I'm going to be recreating this lettering from the movie poster. Um, this nail was kind of a dud. <laughs> At this point, I've spent all day painting two nails. I just needed to be done already. I can't. <laughs> I just can't. Th this one certainly wasn't the star of the show, and that's fine. I'm top coating the rest now. And here's the final result. They came out so good. Realism is absolutely a challenge for me, but I'm just so happy with how it came out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!